pencil neck still running around off his leash. So wait, so wait, so wait, so wait, so wait. Did y'all hear that? This video is brought to you by Extreme Tees. Click on the link below. Make sure you put Kevin in the promo code and you'll get a 20% discount. Now stocks is at an all time high. Interest rates are at zero and the government just printed $5 trillion. Now what could possibly go wrong? And meanwhile, consumer confidence hit a 10 year low with parts of the US seeing rates as high as 8%. Now something's not adding up right, is it? So what can you do? Well, you can play it safe. Putting some of your assets in precious metals will keep your money away from volatile markets and inflation. And it will also let you sleep good at night. This month, Noble Gold is giving away a free American The Beautiful solid silver five ounce coin with any qualifying plan you start. So all you have to do is talk to an expert at Noble Gold and they'll run you through the options to keep your money safe. No pressure, no hassle, no call center, just a chance to speak to somebody that knows what they're talking about for once. Now, how refreshing would that be? And you can start by calling 877-646-5347 or visit our website at noblegoldinvestments.com. Now, let's get to this video. What's going on, America? Kevin from Kevin's Corner, where I try to make sense out of nonsense. And what doesn't make sense to me is why Adam Schiff is still running around like this man never was a part of the whole Russia collusion delusion. Uh, like this man's been an upstanding, honest person who has uh, did nothing but tell the truth and and seek to find out, you know, the truth behind all of these scandals. But but um, instead, this man is still running around. I mean, he was one of the number one contributors and orchestrators of the witch hunt concerning Russia collusion. And um, you would think that after that fell through and all of the other witch hunts that he's been a part of, he would just go somewhere and sit down. But no, not him. So he's back now. OK, just like all the Democrats. Now, I do have a theory. But before I get into my theory, let's go ahead and uh, listen, because uh, I guess next next news network, Gary uh, Franchi, um, they, they did a little you know segment on it because now Adam Schiff is going after Trump's former cabinet members. So so let's see what's going on here. Shifty Adam Schiff oh, he is sends a threat right at Trump's former chief of oh, staff, Mark really? Meadows, okay. over January 6th. Oh, God. So now we see it's January 6th again, back on the menu. You know what? I, I just don't understand this. I've concluded that the Democrat Party don't have an agenda. They don't have a actual winning strategy for elections, especially considering Joe Biden's approval rate has plummeted even further. It was 38%, now it's down to 36 So this guy's in the tank, man. You almost got to you know, wear a clothespin just to be around him because he stinks. And so, uh, yeah, you know, go ahead, put it on your nose. That man stinks. And I don't think they really have a legitimate uh, winning strategy or message for the people. So what they do is they waste a lot of time on these frivolous, unnecessary witch hunts and narratives so that they can keep something fresh in the mind of the public that Trump and all of his associates are the boogeymen. Instead of focusing on all these other issues going around, they want to call all of these folks in, run them through the ringer. We all know what this is about. Um, this is about having a fresh narrative going into 2022 and beyond that, you know, hey, just in case you start thinking you might want to support Trump or someone like Trump or even the Republican Party. Don't forget, these people were responsible for that insurrection that no one was charged of. Huh. Let's continue though. You know, Adam Schiff is a problem. Oh, he is. Duh. For years, he harassed Trump from uh, false Russia ties. Yeah. And now he keeps threatening Trump associates over January what? 6th. What? Mark Meadows is his latest target oh, after God. Meadows didn't respond to a January 6th committee subpoena. Now this is uh, breaking. Christina Layla from the Gateway Pundit reports, serial liar Adam Schiff. <laughs> now that's funny. See, now you know what? That That's a beautiful, beautiful um, term for him. See, sometimes, like you know how the Democrats give those, those terms that really isn't equivalent to what 
the message is behind the term. You know, they'll call somebody Hitler and there's nothing about that person represents Hitler. Uh, they'll call all the people on the six white nationalists, even though there was no proof of that. They'll call people like Kyle Rittenhouse uh, white supremacists. No evidence whatsoever. But um, then you get a term like uh, serial liar, Adam Schiff. That is absolutely 100% accurate. That man has been lying since day one. We got uh, evidence in plain sight. We never saw it. This man is the same man who tried to say Trump was guilty of trying to collude with the Russians, a foreign actor. And yet he tried to get information from what he believed to be Russian foreign actors giving him information about Trump in that PP tape. Uh-huh. This is the same man who got up there on the stand and completely concoctioned a whole story and conversation that he claimed um, took place between Trump and Ukraine and just paraphrase it, paraphrase it. Um, this is the same guy, same guy. And yet here he is back in the news. How, man? How? Joins CNN's State of the Union on Sunday to and told uh, Dana Bash the January 6th committee will probably make a decision this week regarding referring former uh, Trump chief of staff Mark Meadows for criminal contempt charges after he asserted executive privilege mm. in response to a subpoena. Now that is strange because to me, Adam Schiff should be subpoenaed himself. He should be on trial for all of that crap he's been involved in. But no, he's still out there persecuting people. He's still out there running witch hunts, trying to harass folks um, and doing things that real t tyrannical uh, regimes do. Persecute their political opponents. Now, I know why they're probably doing this, because, see, the greatest threat to the Democrats coming uh, up and moving forward is that Trump gets back in office. I would think that if Trump gets back in the office, he would not do things the same way he did the first time. I think by now he realizes that the swamp is swampier and deeper and more vast than he had, he thought. And so to get in there and go easy on these crooks, just to make it not appear that he's going after his political enemies, I would hope he wouldn't do that again. I would hope he would understand that you're going to get negative feedback and reactions regardless from the public that is brainwashed by the media and CNN and MSNBC and all of them. Notice they're bringing the serial liar onto the most lying network, uh, CNN. See, they all work together. And so they know if we mess around and let Trump get back in, most likely all of us would be brought up on some charges. Most likely a lot of stuff that we knew if we didn't get him out, after his first term, we were in trouble. Most likely, he won't try to play the neutral role moving forward. He would probably get an AG that is willing to go after these folks and expose this type of corruption. And um, this is a do or die moment for them. So they are keeping this narrative fresh. And it's very ironic that this corrupt man right here got the nerve to be trying to bring up criminal charges on someone else. <laughs> crazy world we live in, isn't it? Earlier this month, it was reported Representative Liv Ch Liz Cheney, mm -hmm. Rhino from was, uh, Wyoming, Rhino. and Bernie uh, Thompson, Democrats Rhinoceros. from Mississippi, were seeking criminal charges oh, on God. Trump's former White House Chief of Staff, Mark mm -hmm. Meadows, after he failed to uh, appear before their sham January 6th committee. The Marxists on the January 6th they committee are issued uh, Meadows a subpoena because he was with Trump on January 6th. Wow. Meadows, like Bannon, defied the subpoena mm -hmm. and was instructed by Trump to respect long-standing principles of executive privilege. Okay. Schiff said the committee will make the decision this week whether to refer Meadows for criminal right. contempt. Well, let's hear. Let's hear. Let's hear. Uh, I think we will probably make a decision this week on our course of conduct uh, with uh, that particular witness and maybe others. Uh, I can't go into you know what communications that we're having or haven't had uh, with particular witnesses. But uh, we are moving with alacrity uh, with anyone who obstructs the committee. Uh, and that was certainly the case with Mr. Bannon. It will be the case with Mr. Meadows, uh, Mr. Clark, uh, or any others. Now, is he talking about that very lopsided committee um, that uh, people are too dumb on their side to realize is nothing more than a committee put together to persecute their political uh, enemies? Huh? Um, that committee, the one that Nasty Pelosi wouldn't allow real Republicans on. Instead, she put all of these rhinos on here. Um, and I'm talking they are rhinos. And so is he talking about that committee? See, when you see stuff like this, it bothers you because you, you know this guy's corrupt. 
You know he's a liar. And you're saying, how is it that this man continues to stay in business? How is it? It just feels like the wicked are getting away with all of this. I mean, this man is 100% completely a liar, a corrupt politician, and it's obvious to everybody. But the obvious part as well is that he's still on the intel community. He's still been licensed to go and do these type of witch hunts. Huh. You wonder if there's ever going to be some type of, you know, uh, closure to this. Is there ever going to be some type of penalty for these corrupt folks? <sighs> Let's continue, though. You know, Adam Schiff lied for years yes, in congressional he hearings about Trump uh, Russia collusion, yet the That's Republicans right, have sight. done nothing to hold him accountable. Nothing. Schiff is still harassing and threatening Trump's associates hmm. because the weak Republicans refused to strip Schiff of Bingo. his committee assignments. So you know that you got a corrupt dude who wreaked havoc all four years that Trump was in office. Either you okay with it, or for whatever reason, our Republicans just don't have the spine or backbone to do anything about this. And if they regain the, the House and the Senate in 2022, they better clean house. That's what they better do. If they get the House and Senate back, man, they better just go ahead and wreak havoc through there because these Democrats play for keeps. And if these Republicans think that they're going to take the moral high ground and they're not going to be like that and get honored for all of that, you know, people are going to be like those Republicans, they, they, they really are honorable. No. No, it's not time to be honorable. It's time to be smart and wise. It's time to clean the house. And so a corrupt politician like this, who has access to all of this intel and this information, should not be anywhere near this committee. He shouldn't even be in office. And I hope these Republicans, if they get honored and blessed by the voters to get back in power, they better show us that they mean business. All these rhinos, they need to be rivaled. They need to be gone, man. I don't want to see not one more rhino in office. Now, let's finish this mess. Liz Cheney continues to show Ugh. her true colors, going along with a request for criminal charges against <sighs> Meadows for violating Boy. a subpoena from the January 6th committee. Now, I don't know why she doesn't just switch parties. Me either. Since she clearly has no loyalty to the Republican Party. She needs to bounce, baby. Bounce, baby. Bounce, 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 baby. When I come through, hit you with a one, two. She needs to bust the rhyme right about now. Bounce, okay? Why are you still in the party just wreaking havoc, huh? Why don't you just go somewhere and sit down? Why don't you do the honorable thing and at least go out with some type of pride in the party that you initially joined? Um, because right about now, I don't think any Republican out there respects her. Not one Republican voter. And that's why her and the other dude are probably not going to run again because they know they're going to get destroyed, which they should. Do you think the January 6th commission is a partisan witch hunt? Absolutely. And just like we saw in that first clip where Adam the Schiff was like, ah, ah, hitting that bag, that's exactly what's going on. That is a wonderful meme because that's exactly what that dude is doing. He is just the softest, slimiest, spineless, pencil neck, bug eyed, watermelon shaped face, raggedy, corrupt politician that can't confront folks uh, head up. He's that weasel. He was the same dude that was in the hearings and then sneaking out in between uh, giving uh, information to CNN. Mm -hmm. He reminds me of just a complete slime ball, a sleaze ball. Um, and I hope that sleaze ball gets the boot in 2022. And I hope that um, there becomes a rightful investigation. See, these investigations are not rightful. It's only suspicious if a, a president gets in office and he does what these guys are doing, which is there's nothing going on suspiciously with my past opponent, but what we're going to do is we're going to go on a witch hunt for nothing. See, if there's no evidence, then of course, why would you do that? But in this case, if Trump got back in, all of the corruption and evidence that we have of these people, an investigation against all of them would be warranted. It would be justified and it would be supported by those that got enough common sense to see that these people are corrupt. Now, God bless y'all. God bless America. And I am praying for some type of, I guess, justice for these people, some type of exposure beyond just us as conservatives, because we see it, but it needs to be so clear that everybody in America 
has to see it and they won't deny it. It has to be to that point where they're going, I might hate Trump, but they got busted. And I hope it happens very soon. Soon and very soon. Corrupt Democrats is going to get exposed, hopefully. See y'all next time in Kevin's Corner. God bless y'all. Don't forget to hit that like button. Share my videos. Also, don't forget to donate if you like Kevin's Corner. There are links in the bottom of this video. Check out Extreme Tees, my sponsor. If you like the products, put Kevin in the promo code. You'll get a 20% discount. And um, what else? Oh, find me on Rumble in the Jungle. All right, God bless you all next time in Kevin's Corner. Take care.